Welcome to the Get Started with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Core Services Workshop. This is a quick walkthrough of the workshop. So let's get started. As you're running the workshop in LiveLab Sandbox environment, let's switch to the compartment assigned to you. Click on the navigation menu, compute, and select instances. Select the compartment you are assigned. You can check the compartment assigned to you on the Live Labs login info page by clicking on View Login Info in Workshop Details. Click Cloud Shell at the top right of the Cloud Console to start the Cloud Shell. We will be generating SSH keys once the Cloud Shell has started. Click Y if you like to learn about Cloud Shell features. For this demo, click N. Create .ssh folder and navigate into it. Let's generate SSH keys now and name the key as Cloud Shell key for this demo. When prompted, hit Enter. Let's examine the files we just created using LS. As you can see, the keys are generated. There are two files, a private key Cloud Shell key and a public key, which is cloudshellkey.pub. Using cat, let's list the contents of the public key. We will need the public key to provision a few resources in this workshop. So copy the public key contents and save it in a notepad. Make sure you are copying the exact content without any spaces. As we are running this workshop in a live labs environment, we will use a pre-configured virtual cloud network. So you will not create a VCN in this workshop. However, if you want to know how a VCN is created in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you can watch the short video in Lab 2 Task 1. So let's go ahead and create a compute instance and connect to it. As we are already on the assigned compartment and in instances page, click on create instance. Minimize the cloud shell for now. Give your instance a name. In this demo, I'm using my username dash instance as the name. We are provisioning my instance in 81 Melbourne region. Click change shape to choose a VM shape. You can view the shapes in your login info details from the allocated resources section. I'm going with the defaults in this demo. In the networking section, I would leave the defaults as they are provisioned as part of our demo environment. Select assign a public IPv4 address option if it is not selected by default. You need a public IP address to SSH into the running instance later in this lab. So click paste SSH keys under the add SSH keys section and paste the public keys you copied earlier. Click create button to create your instance. As you can see, launching an instance is simple and intuitive with a few options to select. The instance state will change from provisioning to running. As you can see, it's provisioned in less than a minute. Once the instance is running, you can SSH into the instance using your public IP address. Copy the public IP address and save it in a notepad as you will need it later in the labs. Let's connect to the instance. Click restore to restore the cloud shell. Type SSH I and paste the private key name. In this case, it's cloud shell key followed by OPC at and provide your public IP address. Press enter to connect to your instance. Type yes when prompted. So now we are logged into the compute instance. Now we will create a block volume and attach a block volume to our instance. Click the navigation menu in the upper left, then storage, and then click block storage. As we are already in the assigned compartment, click on create block volume. Provide a name for your block volume. In this demo, I'm using my username dash BV.
Ensure your block volume availability domain must be as the same AD as you chose for your instance. Let's click on custom and update the block volume size to 50 GB. Leave the rest as defaulted values. Choose the backup policy as gold to perform daily incremental backups. Leave the encryption and tags options as default values and click create block volume. This block volume will be ready to attach once its status changes from provisioning to available. All right, our block volume is created. Now let's attach it to our instance. From the menu, let's navigate to the instance we provisioned earlier. Click on the instance name to view the instance details. Scroll down to the resources section. Click on attached block volumes and click attach block volume to attach a block volume. Click select volume and choose the block volume you created from the volume dropdown. From the device path dropdown, select dev oracle OCI oracle VDB path. When you attach a block volume to a VM instance, you have two options for attachment type, iSCSI or para virtualized. iSCSI attachments are an option when connecting block volumes to bare metal instances. Once the volume is attached, you need to log into the instance and use the iSCSI ADM command line tool to configure the iSCSI connection. You can refer the workshop instructions and for more information. For this lab, we will choose iSCSI attachment type. Leave the defaults and click attach to attach the block volume to your instance. As you can see, the status is attaching. Once the volume is attached, we can run the iSCSI commands. So our block volume is now attached to our instance. Click on the ellipsis on the far right corner of the attached volume and then click iSCSI commands and information to view the iSCSI commands and information. Click copy to copy all the iSCSI connect commands. Click restore on the cloud shell to verify if you are still connected to your instance. Then paste the copied iSCSI connect commands and run all the commands in the cloud shell to attach the disk. As you can see, the disk is attached. Now let's run the commands to format the disk and mount it. Let's list what is in dev. Oracle OCI and Oracle VD star. Let's create the file system. Create a directory disk one and mount it. Note that when mounting a storage volume for the first time, you can format the storage volume and create a single primary partition that occupies the entire volume by using the fdisk command. The caution here is that using fdisk to format the disk deletes any data on the disk. Let's quickly view the file system disk space statistics. So far, we have created the block volume, attached it to the instance, formatted the disk and mounted it. Now let's create an object storage bucket. Upload a sample object to the bucket and create pre-authenticated link to access that object. Click the navigation menu, then storage and select buckets. As you can see, we are already in the assigned compartment. If you are not in the assigned compartment, search from the compartment dropdown and navigate to your compartment. Now click create bucket and give a name. For this demo, I'm naming my bucket, bucket dash my username. I will leave the default storage tier as standard and click create to create the bucket. From your lab five, task two, step one of the workshop instructions, right click the link and select save link as to download the sample file to your local PC. After downloading the file, click on the bucket name to view the bucket details. Scroll down and click Upload. Select the sample file you just downloaded and drag and drop it into the drop files region. After the file is loaded, click Upload to upload the file to object storage. After the upload is finished, click Close. Now the file should be visible under Objects. Click on the ellipsis in the far right corner of the uploaded file and click create pre-authenticated request. In short, it's PAR. This will create a web link that can be used to access the object without requiring any additional authentication. Give a name.
Leave the power target type object, access type permit object reads, specify an expiration date you wish. I will leave the defaults and click create pre-authenticated request to create the PAL link. Now that the link is created, it must be copied and saved. Once the window is closed, the link cannot be retrieved again. So click copy and save the PAR link to access the file. Click close to close the window. In your current browser, open a new tab, paste the pre-authenticated link and hit enter. As this is a text file, it will open on your browser page. In this lab, you created an object storage bucket, uploaded a sample file, created a pre-authenticated link and accessed it. That concludes the demo. Thanks for watching.